And he's, he's so low to the ground sometimes, man. He's got that, like, squat animation. Mm -hmm. He just goes right under so many things. Like, yeah, your first time playing against Game Watch, you're just so genuinely confused on what to do. You, you're like, this has to be a top 10 character. <laughs> and next thing you know, he, like, has a full bucket. You died at, like, 10. Like, right. oh, okay, buddy. He got one there at 10. You came back at 90. <laughs> <laughs> like, excuse me? Yeah, you're just crying. <laughs> and then you're nine. GG's. GG's indeed. I want to see that. I would love to see a nine. I feel like I have not, when I watch Game & Watches play lately, they don't really go for the nine as much, but maybe it's just the Game & Watches I see. I think it's like the top level Game & Watches, they're like, why would I want to go for the nine and count on this RNG, but I could just go for another thing and go for damage. Exactly. With. But honestly, sometimes you really do just have to go for it. RNG was put in there, and sometimes if you're feeling lucky, it works out. Oh yeah, and I feel like most of the Game & Watches, they know if they got that luck or not. Like, they just have that feeling. Mm -hmm. It was definitely interesting to see, but I, I definitely want to see how uh, Paper can do this versus Lucina. Sounds like a hard matchup. This, um, I don't I don't really know how a Game Watch is going to get in. And honestly, right. like the fact that Game Watch will like approach with that Nair and down air, I feel like Lucina, if she uh, spaces her up air or up tilt like, uh, right, then she'll actually be able to beat it out, where a lot of characters can't really do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can see a lot of this just going her way because of the disjointed sword that she has, of course. But Oh, my oh. gosh. Like you said, already <laughs> going for it. I love to see that. All right, so Paper, definitely one of the riskier Game & Watches out here. All right, the back air going to come in, knock him off to the right side right now, set up for this edge guard, but good to come in aggressive. Right now, Paper just kind of, he's perishing. Like I said, that upbeat down air, it's so hard to deal with. Mm -hmm. And you see him run off the stage a lot and go for that back air forward air. Oh, wow, Ooh. he actually hit that down oh, and knocked wow. the spike. Yeah, but. and it got the stage spike situation, too, so unfortunate spot. I thought he actually teched it for a second there, but no. Yeah, it, that definitely, like, held him there for a second. I thought it was like, okay, you're, you're kind of nice. <laughs> All right, going to back up a little bit and just kind of space these sausages, try to get her caught up in something, and then go into an up B. Nice. I like it. Yeah, actually calling out the jump there with the up B, it covers so much space. All right, and then puts the bomb in front of her, too, but she's able to get out of it, and now just working him back off the stage once again. Short hop Nair going to do so much work, so much knockback. Yeah, she's landing and jumping with a lot of aerials, and it doesn't, like we said, seem like uh, Game Watch has too much he can say about that. Yeah, again, Paper's just throwing out these up Bs, but while that will get you damage, it's not really going to land that kill. And that is actually the thing we do see Game Watch struggle with. If he doesn't land like, land like that down smash or like that edge guard that ends up killing you, Game Watch can't really kill. Right. Now, you know what? I've been wrong. Excuse you. He's going to unlock that stock with the key, man. That was definitely oh. the key to success, but big ass mask coming in. 0% two stocks. Yeah, he was just a little bit underneath the ledge so that actually going to connect with him. But honestly, seeing the way that he's been playing, he probably would have jumped on with an aerial and still got hit with the forward smash anyway. Mm -hmm. All right, trying to squeeze these sausages once again. Being down a stock, he's going to have to be the one to approach here. Yeah, that's definitely not really what you want to do with Game Watch. A lot of Game Watchers, they like to just annoy you and then force you to like kind of go in blindly and then you get so much damage because you're just not respecting what Game Watch can do. Right. He comes up high right there. Ooh, does it again. He's getting punched quite hard for not going right to the ledge. Okay, finally getting this, uh, these up airs. He's been trying to go for that up B up air, but it hasn't actually been hitting. Right. Big four tilt just to set up something. Oh, almost with the down smash too, but now good fade back right there. He's going to eat that back air for sure from Lucina. Right now, uh, Paper's just not really able to get anything started. Is that already going to be it? Yeah, two stock coming in. That looks so rough for Game & Watch. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, the Disjointed Sword, man. Going to help her out so much. He has a lot of range on Game & Watch, and he has to kind of come in there and hit you with his hurt box, you mm -hmm. know? So, scary spot to be in. Yeah, I just don't think him running up, doing up downer is going to work when Lucina has that sword to beat him out. Right. I'd like to start seeing like, approaching a little bit differently, maybe go for some short hop nares. Maybe just going with raw back airs to try to... <laughs> <laughs> I hate him. Really hit the cheat out right there. Right. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to start seeing him maybe like going with backers or other like spaced aerials instead of just kind of going for those Hail Marys because yeah. it's not looking like it's working out at all. Yeah, especially landing with the Kia is really, really unsafe. Three, two, one, all right, but here we go for game two. We're going to be on Smashville once again. And the quick up B. Oh, okay. He's going to convert it into an aerial this well, time. But, oh, my gosh. He immediately down airs him. Get out of my space. Right, and that did just more damage than he had put out with those three hits. I do like how, again, he's putting out these sausages. It does elicit a reaction, and most of the time, you are going to get damage for it because people will just get hit, and then a lot of game watchers will like to just go for a dash attack. Right, and I do like how he's using the up B to force her to get away from him, just break up her combo real quick, but he's doing it quite a bit, and she is catching on to that for sure. Oh, actually reading uh, the roll with an f but not spacing it uh, well enough. Right. Okay, I do like the conversion with the up airs too, and could just get out of there once again, not oh. going to eat a forward smash. I love that down air. It covers, so, it covers way too much space. Right. 
Yeah, he's really escaping with that a lot and actually not taking too many more punishes this game than he did last game. Oh, the dash attack though, knocked him off the left side here. Yeah, King of Man looking like he was going to go deep for it, but he's staying on stage for the ledge guard. Trying to read him with an F smash, but not going to hit. Oh, oh my gosh, that count counters last so long in this game. Yeah, and he charged that up, up smash up too, man. She I, had so much time to counter it. I would I would have been so upset because I thought I definitely would have thought I could charge that enough just to get hit again with like probably the last one frame. Exactly. <laughs> All right, trying to do that combo once again, but that definitely is not going to connect just right. And both of them creating a down smash there, but she's going to dodge his and give him hers. Oh, wait, does he have a jump? No, he doesn't. Oh. All right, actually, Paper going to take that stock. I know Kigoman was look he was looking to end him right there, probably with a down or a fair, but Paper making great use of a bad situation. Right. Speaking of a bad situation, he's actually got a bit of a juggle going on, but Kigoman doing a really good air dodge way to be able to just uh, retreat back. Right, okay, and I like the sausages there. She tried to start up her side B, but he knocked her right out of it. But these down tilts right now, knocking him all the way to the left side. Carefully going to need to get on the stage, but he's having a lot of trouble here. He's just poking him. Yeah, exactly. Don't need to overcommit to anything, but I do like that fade back. Coming in aggressive once again, and the up smash? Barely not going to kill. Ooh, one and another one, but okay, oh, there we go. spot dodge. I really thought he was going to throw out the counter again. Yeah, yeah. I guess he didn't expect him to try to do that a second time after he punched him so hard for it, but he did. Go for a six. Bro, I, 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 I might have popped off if that was a nine. Seriously. Okay, the bomb going out, putting some pressure to protect himself, but Lucina didn't even care. She was still coming in aggressive. It was actually looking really good this uh, this game. Uh, after the first game, we weren't we weren't able to see Paper get anything started, but right now, as soon as he got that first that first and second stock, he's just looking he's looking really good. Right. And now we can play that fade back game we were talking about with just using some sausages, but ooh, careful on the ledge here, able to escape it. Yeah, barely avoiding that down. I'm surprised no one got hit from it uh, from either party. And that again, just using the up and then coming back down with the key, and he did not even get punished for it. Oh, getting stage spike? Ooh. Oh, wow. Wow, Lucina actually not making it back. I was definitely counting on the magnet hand for that one, so. Yeah. Paper answering back with a two stock of his own, so. Yeah, definitely good. Uh, weird, like, ledge situations netted him two stocks in that set. Mm -hmm. Kigaman might be going a little too ham. He's probably feeling himself like, all right, listen, I, I've got this in the bag. Right. But going a little too ham, and Game Watch is really good. And like we said, at that reversal situation, put you with that one hit takeaway, you're jumping, all of a sudden you're in a bad situation. Yeah. So game three, we're going to run it back to Smashville. It was really working out for both players, honestly. Yeah, no reason really to switch off the stage. Uh, just sort of more adaptions coming through from both players. Because somehow he was getting away with more of those upbeat uh, key movements that he was getting punished for hard in game one. Oh, I'm... Ah, good delay because, yeah, she used the counter knowing that he constantly does the fade back, jump back on fair. But uh, this time he waited a second. Yeah, but I don't, I don't really like going for that, like, so uh, so early into the third game. Kind of showed his hand off there, and so now uh, right. Paper's going to be ready for it. So now Kikaman's going to have to go for a different mix-up. Mm -hmm. I do like that he was ready for her adaption somehow uh, and delayed it a little bit, though. Okay, we got the bombs at the ledge for the trap here. What? Oh that wow! Wide I think range. I, I think that like hit her hand because you saw Kikoman throw out the down tilt. Right. So that probably is the reason he got, uh, he got hit. But actually, he's not dead yet. Maybe up smash a little too stale. So Kikoman probably thinking the stars. Yeah, he's ca catching so many of these up smashes though, and a good key right there instead of just fading backwards and getting hit by another down tilt. Oh, missing the tech there. Kikoman gonna drop that first stock. He's probably looking to up B paper himself, but paper kind of swung first. Right. He's actually getting so many of these stage spikes and letting him win here. All right, good Nair, follow up into an up air, getting 42. Smooth little combo. Yeah, Game Watch is finally able to get his uh, his conditions online. He Ooh. went way too deep for it though. Oh, you're right. Yeah, you can sell that paper kind of faded back like, okay, I'm fine, I can go all the way out here, she can't reach me. And she's like, yes I can, haha, -ha. but oh wait. That's actually, <laughs> that, that, that's a problem I've seen Kikaman do. Sometimes they'll go a little too deep for a fair and end up SDing, so now he has to take two whole stocks. Right, so yeah, definitely in a really bad spot, especially with a more adapted paper coming out. Yeah, paper is adapted, and the fact that Kikaman is forced to approach, and that's really where Game Watch wants you. Uh, wants you. He wants you to approach him and to try to get past this barrage of just annoying things that he's thrown out. Right, and you can see the lingering hits of that fair man. He used it to catch her up in the last second as he jumped back onto the stage. And now she's sort of, yeah, coming in aggressively, gets that grab. And she get a nice edge guard right here to bring it back in her favor. No, skates right past. Honestly, so we're going to have to see some crazy plays going after Kika, man. Maybe a wild F smash to kill at 60, maybe a shield break. Yeah, and there we go, he's go. going for it. Ooh. Yeah, and I like the up smash right there. Waited it out to make sure she didn't counter anything like that too, but she was still able to get away. 100% on Kikaman. Wow, up B actually not going to kill. Does she have a jump? Okay, okay. Oh, wow. That, that was scary. Dash tag actually does hit below the ledge. Fair. Oh, he's going ham. Is he going to be able to Oh, there it is. I like that directional. 
Yeah, it was a really good directional air dodge. You don't really see game watches do it because a lot of the time they just snap the ledge. You get sniped by the bomb. Another two stock for paper. It really seems like that SD was the deciding factor. Oh, for sure, yeah. Like, he was kind of working him across the stage the entire time, but uh, I don't know. I do feel like Kiko Man could have brought that back if he didn't lose the stock at, like, 45. Yeah, he, he went just a little too ham for it. Definitely. So, Kiko Man going to end his run at 